Uh, there's been a suggestion that you should return the million dollar com contribution from Bill Maher, that if you're going to, if liberals are going to go mm -hmm. after Rush Limbaugh for the outrageous things that he said about Sandra Fluck, that you should return the contribution from Bill Maher because of the things that he has said uh, about Sarah Palin. Well, a couple of things. First of all, um, obviously some of those things are vulgar and inappropriate and said over the course of years of a comedian's uh, life. It's not language I would use. It's not language that we would use at Priorities USA. Isn't that what Mitt Romney said about Rush Limbaugh? Well, the it's not notion, language that I would use. Right, but the notion that there is an equivalence between what a comedian has said over the course of his career and what the de facto leader of the Republican Party said to sexually degrade a woman who engaged in an important uh, debate of our time is crazy crazy. Like there's just, there just no similarity between what Rush Limbaugh said, lying about the argument that Ms. Fluke was making, a law student at Georgetown, and what, um, and, and what a comedian has said in the past. And then finally, if we want to have this debate where we're stacking up what supporters of candidates have said over time, you know, Mitt Romney begged Ted Nugent for his endorsement. And he gave it to him and he embraced it and his campaign was bragging about it. I mean, you look at some of the things he said, but that's, this is all a distraction from the fact that there are real differences in this race between Mitt Romney and President Obama on key issues. And that's what's important here. Where do they stand on contraception? What kind of Supreme Court justice is Mitt Romney uh, gonna put in place, an Antonin Scalia or an Elena Kagan? Like that's the argument that I think is important here. Bill Burton, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you.